It is Friday, December 15th, 2023. Just woke up from a dream. Okay, I don't know every single thing that was said in this dream. I don't remember everything, every single thing that was said in this dream. So I'm just going to point out what, like, what, what was the conversation about? And and just just try, I'm gonna try to describe every everything that I can remember because it, it it got hot in this in this it got a little hot in this conversation just a little bit but all I know is that this this felt like the spiritual realm I it felt like I was in it felt like I was in someone else's dream or they was in my dream or everybody was just probably sleeping. It, I wouldn't say that. Let's just say it just felt like the spiritual spirit spirit realm, where you go when you sleep or where you go when you, I guess, die or whatever. I don't know. I don't think I don't know if there is a spiritual realm when you die, because I, I think I believe all spirits go back to the Father when we die, right? I think that's in Scripture. Um, but. Who knows where you know? Who knows where the God, who knows where God keeps the spirits, right? I don't know where God keeps the spirits and holds and holds the spirits until you know resurrection. I don't know, you know. Well, all I know, I feel like I, I was talking to people that were were in the spirit realm. I believe, I, I, and it's just me guessing. And once I explain the dream, you guys are gonna probably. Uh, Agree to it, maybe, possibly. So I'm, so I'm, so I'm here, right? I'm sitting on. Where am I? I'm somewhere. I don't know. I'm in a room. I'm in a, I'm in a room like a bedroom. I'm sitting on the edge of the bed, like Indian style. I'm sitting on the edge of the bed, Indian style. Now on this same bed, there's someone. There's someone uh, covered up under the covers. It's a it's a it's a young uh, it's not a young girl but you could tell she's she's an adult right she's probably above her twenties but she's young right and she's there and then right next to her laying right next to her is is a is a is a guy right it's it's a, it's a dude um, under the covers as well like as if they're sleeping like a couple but let me tell you this they 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 weren't a couple that was one that was. That was her sleeping in the bed. There's a guy right next to her sleeping. But they weren't a couple. Like I said, it's as if they are in my dream and I'm in their dream. Right? We all, we all, we all dreaming. We all sleeping. But like I said, I was, I was uh, sitting Indian style at the edge of the bed that they're sleeping in. But need I remind you, they're not sleeping. They're up, of course. And for some reason, there's there's someone behind me that's standing up. Like like I said, I'm on the edge of the bed, in, sitting Indian style, and there's someone standing up behind me. I don't know this person. This person doesn't speak throughout the whole throughout the whole dream, but they're just standing up, right? Now at the foot of the bed, like on the other side, like at the foot of the bed, there's uh, there's two other women. Two other older women, I could tell that they were like black women or brown skinned women, but there are two older, other older women at the edge of the bed standing up, right? And they look like they probably just came out of church or something because they're wearing like church clothes or something, you know? And yeah, they were just there at the foot of the bed. And then there's other people in the, for some reason, other spirits or people in the room around us like towards the other side of the bed or whatever it's other people and there's other beds for some reason i don't know who else is i don't know who else is in the dream around the corner but there's other people standing around and moving around like i said as if they're spirits i'm not telling that these people were real physical people right so i'm there and, and, and like i said i cannot remember every single detail of this of what we said in this dream 
But I'm going to just point out the standouts. Right? Um, all of a sudden, we just, I don't know, we just get start talking about God. Like, me and the two ladies that, that was at the foot of the bed. I, like I said, I'm sitting Indian style on the edge of the bed, right? And me and these two ladies just start, talk, start talking about the God and his word and the Bible and all this stuff. For some reason, these, these ladies know, or do they know? I don't know, but they know something about the Bible because they look, of course, they look like they go, go to church. But they, they, they claim that they know a little bit about Bible. So they started to talk and start saying things and, you know, whatever they were saying was hitting right. I mean, like, I, I, I felt like whatever s certain things that they were saying were, 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 were from that word, from the Bible. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm agreeing, I'm agreeing with them at the same time. But then, they, but then the one lady said something. One of the ladies that was walking back and forth, she, she was walking back and forth at the foot of the bed for some reason. She was walking back and forth. She said one thing that, I believe she said a few things, as a matter of fact, and I just cannot remember what she said. But she said a few things that I disagree with because I didn't felt I didn't felt that was even scriptural, script, scripture, or or biblical. And I had to kind of I had to come I had to come to her and ask her like, well, can you find that in the book? Can you find that in the Bible so I could? Because that, that don't sound right. It's like, it was like whatever she said was hitting my Holy Spirit and just didn't, just didn't sit right, right? It didn't sit right. So I asked her to go to the, the scripture. I guess she didn't go to the scripture. She didn't go to the Bible verse about whatever she said. And, you know, it just, it just went back and forth. It was like, I, I, as, as if it was, we was about to argue or arguing. On scripture, I was like, mm, well, I don't think so because this this scripture says such and such, such and such, such and such. Now, the one thing that I do remember is is this is what she said. This is the one thing I do remember. This is the last thing I remember she said. Like I said, this is the same lady that's walking back and forth. There's, like I said, there's two ladies at the edge of the bed, and one of them is like just standing still or sitting still. I think she's probably leaning on the on the head, uh, the footboard, or the headboard, footboard, I should say. She's leaning there, just standing there, and the other lady's walking back and forth. Brown skinned lady, I guess, I don't know. Older lady. So this is what I remember from what that same lady said, the one that was walking back and forth. It's the last thing she said that kind of like dis disrupted me a bit. She said, yeah, man, you know, God is great, God is great, but there are things that we should put above God, you know? There are things we should we should put above God. And I'm like, I stopped there there, like, wait, what? I'm like, no, nah, I'm not putting nothing above God, nothing whatsoever. I'm not putting anything above God. God is above all, all things. And that's what I said to her. And left it at that. I don't think I went to Scripture on that because... Everybody knows they're supposed to put God above all things. Put God first, right? So that left it there, but for some reason, my attention turned my attention turned to the young girl that was laying on the bed. Like I said, she was laying on she was laying on the bed. I'm at the edge of the bed, sitting Indian style. And uh She's sitting on the right, uh, the right side of the bed, and like I said, there's another person sitting on the left side, on her left, on her right side, but it's sitting on the left side of the bed, laying down. Like I said, they're not a couple. It feels like I'm in their, like in their dream, they're in my dream. We all spirit creatures at this time. I'm guessing. I don't know. And for some reason, my attention turns to the to the young girl. The girl, I keep calling her young as if she's underage, but she's not underage. She's like maybe 20s. She's younger than me. So for some reason, me and her got to bickering for some reason. And I, and she kept she kept saying stuff like in the, like physical, like she kept saying physical things like she was she was glorifying herself. 
every time she talked, she was glorifying. She was in the conversation. She got in the conversation, but she was glorifying herself that I'm, you know, I'm this, I'm that, you know. And, and I was telling her like, well, see, 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 where you mess up is that you you talking right now? You're talking about the physical. You you know you you shouldn't be talking about the physical. What is your what is your spirit saying? Because you're saying you know you're saying this and that about the your physical body and how you glorify yourself but is that really the fruits that you're supposed to be uh, obtaining is that is that is that the gifts that you want going into the next life because you need you need the holy spirit's gifts you need the fruits of the spirit joy happiness and uh you know all the other ones joy happiness love self-control those are the real um gifts that you need going into the new world. You don't need the lipstick and, and all this other stuff. Lipstick, uh, makeup. She was she was pointing out how she she got all these things in in the physical realm. And it got a little hot. Me and me and her was literally going back and forth. It got a little hot. And and for some reason for some reason I was I was pointing at her. Like I don't know. I was pointing like I was like really trying to get it down her throat that you need this, that. You need the joy, you need the joy, the happiness, the, the, the. You know what I mean? I'm pointing at her at the same time, and she's pointing at me. She's like, "Get your finger out of my face! Get your finger out of my face!" Which is, which is justifiable. I don't even know why I was doing that or whatever. <laughs> I, that was justified. I don't, I don't need to be putting my finger in nobody's face just to throw the book at them, right? Um, but yeah, we, me and her were just going back and forth. But then I had to, I, when I said that you need the joy, the joy, the happiness and all this, all the other fruits of the spirit, the, one of the ladies at the foot of the bed agree with me. I think both of them agree with me. It's like, yeah, you agreed. You do need, you didn't, you do need that going, going into, uh, the new, uh, the new, uh, realm going into, um, going into death like you know what i mean you gotta have that with your spirit all, that all downloaded you gotta have that they agree with me the two ladies that was at the foot of the bed so i had to fall back i said i, I, I fall back because like i said me and her was it, it got into bickering me and this young lady it got into a bickering back and forth and i i, I, I had to fall back and and touch her and be like okay I, I i'm sorry i apologize I do apologize for getting a little loud or whatever. And, you know, I still was holding my peace. I still was telling her, like, you need that. You need this and you need that. And she kept she kept going on and on and on. She kept, talk, she kept talking about the physical. You know, she kept talking about the her things and all this other stuff. So I, I left it at that. Everybody was everybody around her was just listening. The guy that was laying right next to her, you could tell he's peeping under peeping from under the covers. He's just listening, right? He's just listening. And then the person that was behind me, the spirit or whatever it was that was behind me, was just there for some reason. I don't know. They were just there, standing there. They they they, they was quiet. And people around the corner, the spirits or whatever it was around the corner. Like I said, it was it was a bunch of other spirits. And they was around the corner listening, so but they didn't say they didn't say anything. Um, they didn't talk at all. So, so like I said, at the end of at the, yeah, at the very end of the dream, I just let the girl, I just let the uh, the young girl talk about nonsense, really. In the, <laughs> in my head, I, I was like, man, I ain't, if it ain't about the spirits of God. The, the the fruits of the spirits of God, of the Holy Spirit. I don't know what this girl talking about, but I let her talk. I just let her talk at the at the bitter end. But then that's when I woke up. That's when I woke up uh, from the dream because, you know, like I said, it was it was a, it got intense, but it was it was nothing from no more for me to listen to, you know. But that was re that was kind of weird. Like I don't know. I might come back and uh, comment on this dream. I don't know, but we shall see. Again, this is Daniel, your host of Notice TV. I thank you guys for listening. If you guys and girls made it this far, press that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this on my Facebook page, take the time to subscribe to my YouTube page at Notice TV. 
That's all caps, N-O-T-I-C-E-T-V. I'll catch you later and may God bless you.